Throughout the Second World War, there were many people who were executed for war crimes and for collaborating with the Nazis and the Germans. Laszlo Bakke was one of those at the age of 47 who was led to an execution stake inside of Budapest and alongside other prominent politicians, he was executed in front of a huge crowd. He was a man who had a prominent role during World War II inside of the Hungarian government, and he was a man who was responsible for the executions and deportations of thousands of people. Inside of Auschwitz, 430,000 people in 56 murderous days were exterminated inside of the concentration camp, and Laszlo Bakke was one of those who was responsible for the huge murderous act as he was collaborating with the Nazis. But what is the story of his execution? To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Laszlo Bakke was born on the 30th of September 1898 inside of Budapest, and he would become a leading part of the Hungarian Nazi movement that came to fruition before and during the Second World War. As a young man, he was a graduate from a military academy, and he was later involved in counter-revolutionary work with the army, and the gendarmerie. But at the time inside of the force, there were many people who were leaving their positions to join political groups, such as the right-wing Hungarian National Socialist Party, and Baki was one of those who chose to ditch a career in civil enforcement and transition into politics. He would, though, as mentioned, join the Hungarian Nazi Party. As soon as Hitler came into power, many people in Hungary began to sympathise with the Nazi cause, and there were a number of clone movements within the country. The National Socialist Party of Work was set up in 1931, and it then became known as the Seif Cross. It was a small movement but was the first fascist movement inside of the country that called for change to land and social reform. Following this, further fascist groups would emerge, including the Arrow Cross Party, but the Seif Cross was the most strongly Nazi of the groups, and its manifesto was a Hungarian-translated version of what the Nazis were propagating within Germany. It was very anti-Semitic and would encourage attacks against Jews and their property. But other Nazi groups such as the Hungarian Nazi Agricultural Labourers and Workers' Party was created in 1933 and it was made, and this appealed to peasants who had no land. The members became known as the Green Shirts for their uniforms and they adopted the Arrow Cross as their symbol. But at the same time a Hungarian politician who had previously served as a Minister of Defence set up his own Hungarian National Socialist People's Party. There were other Nazi groups emerging across the land, and this group established the swastika as their emblem, and they even tried to make their own SA in SS, but on a smaller scale. The party looked for inspiration from Hitler and Nazi Germany, but many of the groups would later become banned inside of Hungary, and they would continue underground. There were attempts to unite the different Nazi elements of Hungarian society, with two parties becoming the Nazi Party of Hungary in 1935, but the Seif Cross would rebel as they wanted to remain independent, and they would continue with their anti-Semitic and anti-communist rhetoric. They were seen as a danger by the Regent's government, and they would organise a rebellion on May Day 1936, and thousands of supporters mobilised and planned to march on Budapest, but they were no match for the army and were dealt with quickly. But still as the Second World War broke out, there were many more right-wing Nazi politicians who would come to power. One of those was Laszlo Bakke, who joined the Hungarian National Socialist Party, and he remained a member of the group as there was a huge amount of change. In 1939, he was elected as a deputy and was a member of the Nazi coalition group. But he then became someone who was close to Nazi Germany, and he would become the editor of a German-funded Hungarian newspaper that would publish many different pieces of Nazi propaganda. He was also an ally of other Hungarian officials, including Fidel Falfi, and he united with the followers of Ferenc Selassie to form a bigger coalition of like-minded politicians and members of the Hungarian military. But Hungary would be allied with the Nazis as part of the Axis alliance, and following the Nazi invasion and occupation of Hungary in March 1944, Baki became the Secretary of State in the Ministry of Interior, and along with other state secretary, Laszlo André, Bakke was heavily involved in the deportations of the country's Jews to the extermination camps within the Third Reich. He collaborated with the Nazis and the SS to make sure that hundreds of thousands of Jews were deported to the extermination and concentration camps. Bakke wrote, The Royal Hungarian Government will soon have the country purged of Jews. I order the purge to be carried out by the regions. As a result of the purge, irrespective of sex or age, all are to be transported to assigned concentration camps. 
For a brief time, these deportations stopped, but they resumed with politicians like André, Baki, and those collaborating with the Nazis, and with this, prominent men such as Adolf Eichmann, who ordered the Holocaust, were involved with people like Baki. The Jews would have their possessions seized, and they would at times then be moved into ghettos before they were sent to Germany. Under direction from Eichmann, Laszlo Baki would begin to round up Jews in the eastern part of Hungary two days later. But he was then sacked from government during summer 1944, within months of coming into power, and he would then allegedly be arrested for conspiring and trying to lead a coup against a Hungarian regent. Then the deportations of Jews was briefly stopped, but Baki would later come back to power with the Arrow Cross Party, with Ferenc Selassie acting as the Prime Minister. But he continued to deport and slaughter thousands, but it was looking clearer that the situation for the Germans during the Second World War was not going well, and with this Baki knew he was a war criminal, and because of this he fled Hungary in 1945, where he was then arrested in Austria before he was repatriated back and sent back to Budapest to stand trial. Along with other prominent Nazi collaborators, including Laszlo André, Baki was tried and was sentenced to death by the Hungarian state, and he was to be executed within Budapest, the capital. On the 29th of March 1946, he was brought out in front of the Academy of Music inside of the Hungarian capital, and was to be executed by pole hanging. An assistant of the executioner helped to prepare Baki for his execution, and he secured his hands and legs by tying them. The executioner then passed a rope around his middle, before he was led to the gallows, and was secured to a pole or a post, and the rope was then passed around his neck. When this stool and wood he was stood on was released and taken away, the executioner within minutes choked him and executed him, and he was then declared dead. Laszlo Baki was one of the many Hungarian war criminals who would, during the Second World War, inflict such suffering and misery onto so many people inside of his nation. He was a man who was in the pockets of the SS and the Nazis, and because of this he was a collaborator, and his actions saw hundreds of thousands of people being sent to camps such as Auschwitz, where they were executed within minutes of arriving at the site. His regime were responsible for the executions of so many, and because of this, a lot of the leaders he was associated with were executed themselves at the end of the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.